So Susan, you've been working in the area of long chain fatty acids for 30 odd years. Um, tell me what have been the big things for you? Well, I think I'm convinced and our data support that these long chain fatty acids are enhancing cognitive development, brain development. I have probably more questions now than I did when I started though, and I, I think a lot of those are really around this high variability and DHA status around the world, the differences in intake, and really what are the implications of that, and of course we don't really know what the optimal amount in the diet is for the optimal amount in the brain. Uh, it's very difficult to go from animal models to humans when you're trying to measure cognition. So I think these are rather difficult issues. But the, the nice thing about the long chain fatty acids is that many, many studies have been done and they show no issues with safety. So, and it is, as was pointed out in the talk today, I mean, it, it is something that we know has changed around the world. Mm -hmm. and I see very little harm in women adopting a higher intake of DHA. So a lot of your work has moved from supplementation in infancy and infant formula to supplementing the mom during pregnancy. Yeah. Do you feel that there's an important uh, time to start? I think that's the, the question I most want to answer before I start working, and, and I'm really hoping that before we finish this pregnancy trial and the follow-up to six years, that of course it's not the same trial as the postnatal supplementation, but because we're measuring all the same outcomes in the children at the same ages, it might be interesting to see whether, or at least suggest, I guess it could suggest that prenatal might be more important than postnatal. I, I think I have a bias that prenatal is at least as important, if not more important, than postnatal. And of course, in our postnatal trial, we gave DHA to a relatively deficient population, if you want to say deficient. I guess there's really no technical definition of DHA deficiency, but uh, we, we don't have high intakes of DHA in the community that I study, and I think we're pretty typical of the United States. Mm -hmm. How important do you think are the findings that uh, supplementation with long-chain omega-3 fatty acids might improve or lengthen the duration of gestation? I am not excited about a two to six day increase in gestation duration, which in two fairly large trials we found first six days and then two and a half days. I don't think anybody in obstetrics and gynecology cares one whit about a two to six day increase in gestation duration. But what I, I think is very exciting is the suggestion from your study and ours that there is a high risk population that we might be able to move from the very early preterm to the later preterm when, of course, as we know, those children don't go on the ventilators and they turn into growers and gainers and they get out of the hospital much quickly. So. I think that's a very, uh, if, that, if that holds up in a clinical trial, that would be extremely exciting. Mm -hmm. And I think that would get the interest of neonatologists and obstetricians. And what do you think the key messages are for uh, pregnant women uh, now? I, if you want to know what, how I advise friends, I, I'm, thinking that people need to be eating DHA well before they get pregnant. I, I'm still having questions about that placental transfer and whether where the DHA in the woman is coming from. Is it coming from recent diet or is it coming from her pattern of eating for some time? And, and, and I don't have any evidence for that, but I, I think that if I had a daughter who was about to have a child or get pregnant, I would advise her to start eating more sources of DHA immediately. And, and I think that's different because I think when we first started out, we were afraid to give it too early for fear. You know, in the clinical trials, if anything goes wrong and a certain number of women miscarry, uh, no one wants to have to put that down as a serious adverse event of the trial. But, and no one has shown anything like this. So I think now I feel that it, it would be safe to start earlier.